Still Welcome cooking. back, still the morning show here on Arise News. I'm really excited to be here. Hey, especially when we have a lot of artists who are in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> well, still in commemoration of the International Day of the Girl Child, a soon to be released Nollywood film titled Chat Room tells the story of loss, joy, hope, happiness, and above all, a story of self discovery and rediscovery. Now, it's a film that reveals violence against and how barriers can be broken by the power of one's voice. Mm. The story centers on a female character, Ebere, who is a TV contestant in a reality TV show, and uh, where she hopes to escape the haunting ghost of her past deprivation. Joining us now for a chat on the chat room, currently in pre-production, is the film producer, Olakpeju Fadariko, uh, Susan Banker and producer, and host of the TV magazine talk show, Inspire with Peju. And to join her in the discussion is ace broadcaster, publisher, screen diva, and the associate producer of chat room, Adesua Oyenukwe. Welcome. Mm. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Talk Welcome, Adesua. Thank, thank you for having us. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> well, there we have it, the chat room. And like I was saying, I mean, we see love, romance, and Nollywood, and that sells. But this is not so much of love and romance. And I'm wondering, why did you go this way? What's informed the storyline? Okay, there is romance okay. in chat room. Okay. There is love okay. in chat room, but there is a message also. Mm. So it's not empty. So I was telling you earlier that I think every individual should have uh, some ethos to your life. There should be a meaning to your existence. So yes, you do every other thing, but then there should be a message. Now, what's that message from the chat room? What's Get that your one voice message? back. Get your voice back. Let me help Beju here, because yes. Beju is a passionate one. Beju is yes. the one that says women empowerment is important. We mm -hmm. tell stories that are good. She's mm -hmm. a producer. She's been a banker. And then she comes up with this script. And guess what? She wanted me to play a role in the script. I said, I said, this one, I've been following you. I want you to do this. I said, me, play a role. Can you pay my price? What's your budget? <laughs> so when I saw that, because she knows I did theater arts, right? When I saw that, and I read the script. Mm -hmm. Sincerely, I said, you can't pay me. Yes, because I know it's a low budget movie. It's not any of these hundreds of thousands of millions budget movie. And um, she realized also with partnerships, you can achieve a lot. We had small money, but because of our combination, we're able to get the kind of stars that you see in the movie. Yeah. They literally supported us. That's the best way to put it. Because the so message was important. Here. I told her, look, this is not a sexy story. Nobody's going to talk about rape, sexual abuse, mm -hmm. moving forward and going forward when we shot this movie. But we figured that there's some things, even in the darkest of stories, there is hope. So this story is really about hope, mm -hmm. about hope of a young woman that against all odds takes her life back and moves forward on it. I mean, that, that pretty much segues into what is happening currently. Sex for, sex for, sex for <laughs> grade. And only a couple of weeks ago, you did, you did an interview that was everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in fact, you have another new interview you did uh, with, 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 with the Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos. Of the University of Lagos. I mean, we, we'll see that in communism. Maybe we should just take excerpts of that and we segue this conversation into that. I, I mean, uh, sexual abuse. Yeah, yes. sexual abuse. I mean, we just segue it into that because, I mean, it, it's sort of restitution, you know, atonement. You coming out of what you've gone through. And, and, and turning your life all around. Yeah, you, you, you want to comment on that, like, like, I was, like I was saying? Can I just point out what I heard? Yes. Yes. First of all, Vice Chancellor, when you asked him why he took that, uh, why did the institution decide to suspend the lecture, the first thing that came I mean, out of his mouth was that they needed to protect the name of the university. Everybody has oh, okay. an interest. Everybody has an interest. Let, it's let's sad. Not, let's did you go to I did. Let's not take it away from I, the chat room. Let, please, let's, let's, let's come back. Let's come back to the chat This is what the chat room is about. Let's yes. chat about issues yeah. that, are, that are beyond us. We should stop closing our eyes to some of the things that are bad in our society, right? And that's why for chat room, we picked one issue. Mm. But chat room is going to have many other issues. This is just the beginning, actually. Mm. The chat room is going to continue. But the, and it's in that, incidentally, sexual abuse was what the chat room focused on, that brought the hope. Out of that, there was hope. And it's raging right now. And you, what you see is just me on the streets doing a lot of series. And I said it the last time I was here. There's going to be a series on sexual abuse going forward. Yeah, let's said, so the interesting thing is that Chatroom has been in the making for the last six years. Six years? Yeah. Yes. In, in her head. For, for... No, not even that. The script was ready six years ago. Okay. 
and then there were script conferences, mm -hmm. and then we got funding from the Bank of Industry. Okay. And my organization, a wonderful organization, Sterling Bank, also supported the project before production, and production was in 2017. Okay. So it's really interesting that all this noise <laughs> about these issues mm -hmm. are just coming up in 2019. Just a few months before we release. Mm. It's really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. So the point is, it, the issues have always been there. Some people are just gradually finding their voice. When, when, when is going to be time for release? When, when is this coming January out? 2020. Next year. Yes. So it's 2020. This is Vision 2020. The chat room, we can't keep quiet again. Vision 2020. Keep <laughs> 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 it a day, yes. You know, I'm sorry, Shil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think what's very important here, like you said, is to keep the story, keep the conversation, keep, keep the conversation going. I'm very, very happy that you, this, this movie is coming out and then we're going to have people, this is going to uh, segue the conversation into different ideologies. There was something that happened on there, you know, when we're sh watching the, 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 the clip, where from you said from, no, 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 from, from your, the from, from the, yes, where you said you were trying to talk to the students and a lot of them still didn't want to talk to you. So um, I think that's, that's one issue that is very important for us to talk about. Even with all the, 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 the tension that is being brought to it, there are people that still cower and don't want to tell their stories. How do you, in, you know, with the chat room and then also with your background in, in, in covering this kind of stories, plan to break that norm? Where females are still holding back and not wanting to tell their stories. So it's a, it's a process. Mm -hmm. Things like that, it's behavioral change. And there's no behavioral change that just happens at, at, in an instant like that. What we want to start with is to have a virtual chat room. Because um, there are quite a number of people, I've met a number of ladies recently, that I'm surprised at how many ladies actually have this issue. Surprised? I am surprised. Mm. And when I went down, it says, um, statistics say it's one in three women. Mm -hmm. And that is 32.7 million women. Mm -hmm. If I get 32.7 million in my account, I know what I'll do, right? <laughs> but 32.7 million women, if those statistics are not underestimated, mm -hmm. currently have this issue. It needs attention. We're hoping to have a virtual chat room where you can go to... How do you plan to do this? It's going to be on the movie website when okay. it's launched. Okay. okay. And it's going to, you can go and hide your identity. And just talk. And just talk. And just chat. So even and if the chat. movie screens beyond that, mm. the chat room is going to Continues. stay alive. Let, let, let's wait. We'll, we'll chat a bit after we come back from this break. Welcome back to the Morning Show here on Arise News. And we still have with us in the studio Olafe Ju. Uh, Susan Panka, producer and host of a TV magazine talk show. She has a movie, The Chat Room, and with her as well is a I, broadcaster. Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney. I had to. <laughs> but before the break, um, Shazan had asked the question that Pedro uh, responded to. You wanted to put in something there, they saw. Yes, I, I know that um, those girls, I know why they don't talk. For example, the girls I spoke to in Yelag. Mm. We spoke off camera. I said, Auntie, look, if I speak and they see my picture, I spoke. I, it didn't happen to me, oh, mm. but I could be a target. Victimization. Yes, you'll be a target. They'll watch out for you. And this thing exists because there's an old people's network, not only because the girls don't talk. If they talk, justice is not assured because we, the women, won't believe them. And that is an issue we addressed in the chat room. So, Sorry, that's an issue Sorry, addressing the chat room. The There's another side to this story. Yeah. So the victims are afraid of being victimized all over again, so they don't speak out. But there is the tendency for the narrative of cash, casual sexism and casual violence because mm. it happens too often. Mm -hmm. And so I cite recent instances, the Busola, Dakolo versus the Koza mm. controversial issue. A lot of people say, why didn't she scream? Or oh, it was in her house. Mm. Or oh, why is she waiting till now? Mm. In the sex for great scandal, you hear the girls to offer. They offer. They, they are so willing they participants. Concerned. So how do we change society's attitude? We do know the victims are afraid. At least they have a reason to. But why is society what, the way it is? How do we change that? Adesua, and then Pedro can, can come in. Oh, well, the truth is, make sure you go and catch and watch um, uh, a chat room. Because when you see clearly how some of the things that you do mm. as a parent or as an older woman can affect the life of your child mm -hmm. or your subordinate or your ward, you begin to think differently. Because as I'm a mother, 
I have older, I have younger, I mean, my daughters are in their 30s. Yeah. And I know that if that kind of thing happens, what a mother will first think about is my reputation. Mm. Ha! How can I say? Mm. How will I do this? And that's the first thing. So we want to hide. We don't want to hear that I was a victim of rape. Look at Busola. She came out to speak. Mm. Everybody saying, why? Let's forget about the why. Yes, girls probably seek it. That you seek it doesn't mean that people do it to you. Mm. So that's immaterial. Girls do it, but the women have to learn to trust and believe, at least give them the benefit of the doubt, investigate. And until you start locking up people, we have only two cases of lecturers who have gone down, the Ife lecturer, mm -hmm. and more recently somebody else, and I'm sure this one's gonna go down. They have to be jailed. If they are not jailed and there's consequence, mm -hmm. then, and people go away free, then we can keep doing this. I, I mean, you, you wanted to react to that before I ask a question? You wanted to react to, to what she said? Well, I think you're correct. Because, yes, there are willing givers, mm -hmm. but I think where we have to draw the line is, let no be no. <laughs> let no be no. So if I'm saying no, let it be no. I think people get the impression that the first no is, just wait a while. Mm. The second no is, I'm still checking you out. Mm. The third, so you see them, the guys, they continually stay on and saying, okay, very soon she will agree. And it gets to a point where it's, we're not even sure whether the no is a yes or the yes is a no. Mm. In those kind of situations, it's very great. I know a mother who taught her son as she was going to school and says, listen, when you get to school and you want to get... You begin to teach, again, it comes back to us, teach mm. our sons and daughters the right way to behave. For me, the, the, the shocking part in all of this is, while these conversations came to the public glare, I have had some women, and this is what they said. Some women, mm -hmm. underline the word women, <laughs> and this is what they said. Uh, Shabi, he just raped you now. Move on. We've all been through it. It's happened. There's no, you know, there's, there's, no, there's no big deal. Just forget it. For me, the part that hurts me and haunts me is the fact that even while Bukola's case broke up, we heard some women said, it's no big deal. Shut up. I won't say a lot of women think like that now, though. No, mm, they don't. Not a lot. A few, maybe, but not a lot. Not, n not a lot, but like she mentioned, because of my reputation as a mother, mm -hmm. because of I do not want my friends, I don't want to lose my friends, because it's possible for you to lose relationships and lose Only status position, and yeah. lose position and lose your circle mm. because of this issue. Because of that, people prioritize that above a girl's future. Well, Going back say, to the story of the girl child. But you say, you know, you did say, sorry, Shaitan, you were going to say something? Yes, so I, I mean, I want to just bring it back to the fact that today is the international uh -huh. girl, oh, yes, yeah. you know, 11th <laughs> of October every year. And you said something, you, sp you know, you spoke about your daughters. Mm -hmm. And I think what's very important in this conversation is catching them young. Thank you. Being able to have these conversations very early. Very early. So in, in, in this light, how do you, you know, give mothers this reorientation about how it is they have these conversations with their children. Because even, you know, for, speaking on a personal level, I, everything I, you know, I know about sex education, I learned in school. It was Let me almost... help you here. Look, listen. Mm -hmm. To tell you the truth, my daughter, as I said, I have two at 31, 30, and 31. The truth is, talking about sex with your daughter will remain difficult forever. Yeah. But you've got to do it. That's the question. Because it's uncomfortable. What do you tell the child? What do you know your child? When my daughter was 14, was the first time we had this kind of 14 oh, We'll be skating around it, don't wash this part. Because she came up and said, okay, she has a boyfriend. I said, what's boyfriend? Okay, let's define what boyfriend means, right? Boyfriend means a friend as a boy, eh? Okay. <laughs> so a friend that is a boy, so you don't have to do corner, corner, you don't have to do. But I shifted it towards goals. So I asked my daughter, what's your goal? The first major goal now is to earn your. School, what do you call that thing? So if a boyfriend is going to disturb that, so it's about you being empowered and thinking about yourself. So anything that you do, let it not be something that is diminishing you. If it does, it was your choice. As you lay your bed, so you should make them responsible. So talking about sex is beyond talking about sex. It's making them responsible for the information that they get. Because whatever I tell you about sex, my child, you say, I don't know, I'm old school. Do you know what I mean? So, but, but, and that brings me to this question. Are we having the necessary conversations? Because some people will say we'll be having conversations but with the wrong people. Absolutely. So are we having the necessary conversations? And does the chat room address all of these challenges that we have brought up? 
I reassure you, the chat room addresses everything and more, mm -hmm. including mental health, mm -hmm. like you mentioned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The way... Yeah. Because, because the girls never forget. Because, because the truth is, I mean, psychology say it builds... Anytime you've been violated or abused as a woman, it builds a neural pathway in your brain, and it's constantly always there. So the, key, the question I'll also ask again is, would you guys try to get psychologists in? And it is quite difficult. Because for a country so a of over, over, over 200 million people, we have less than 1,000 psychologists. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh. So how are we going to get psychologists into this virtual chat room? Because they want to talk to people, but mm. they don't just want to talk to somebody that will tell them, Bele. they <laughs> want somebody that will tell them, this is the psychological pathway, and this is how so to unbundle deal. and detox it. So would you, would you put that in place? Of course. Definitely. The virtual chat room has to has, have psychologists at the background. We have partnered with some NGOs as well. Yes, mm -hmm. we have NGO partners already. We had those partners even before we went on location because we already knew the end before we started. Mm -hmm. So you said the release date, but I want to ask you this very quickly because of time. What brought you on board for this movie? This is the your theme. first movie? Yes. The theme. Uh, the theme. Just the theme. Just the theme. The theme, you know, because if I was thinking about money, I wouldn't do it. But it's the theme because it's, we thought, I thought it was important that these things came out in commercial I and mean, in a lighter, you know, Put this thing on film in a good way and make people think. You walk away from that movie and say, hmm, I laughed. Yeah. I cried. I liked the movie. I liked the set. But, and there's a call to action at the end of the movie. Please call if you have a problem, okay. if you know this. Good. So you walk and say, what am I going to do to help the next young girl to be like a beauty? And um, what was the most difficult thing for you as a producer for this movie? Money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, we have some star-studded <laughs> movie there, but okay, what's the so, most difficult thing for you? <laughs> okay, I was pregnant while Ooh, producing it. Okay. So that well, was... You got pregnant in the middle of production. Come yeah. on! <laughs> but that, that was, was before... the baby we, we call baby this Charles. This is what we call it our child. Baby Inside life. Next baby Charles. Charles. <laughs> this is Charles. <laughs> so yes, it, it affected me physically, mm -hmm. right? Yes, the finances were there, but I think the motivation of being able to do something that could really change lives mm -hmm. was way more than... And the writer and the director is Are you planning any fantastic. partnership with a national orientation agency? Because they're key in all of this. Well, and yeah. And when it comes to national orientation, movies like this should be panaceas to national orientation. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Please cross your own for me. All right. It's the chat room. <laughs> and uh, it's the chat room with the chat room. the chat room. Next yeah. year? Yes. Some January, January, so watch out. No, we'll come again. We have to have Before a partnership with that. Okay. Uh, you know, don't worry. We'll come again. Yeah. Sorry. Great. Sorry. <laughs> well, that brings us to the end of the show today. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on the show, Beautiful Thank Women, you. today. And my name's Sig. Lala Amadeso mm -hmm. Moran. I'm Rafael Yosemite. And I'm Shayta Atigari. Thank you for watching. From my entire team here in Lagos, enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your weekend.